A staggering $17,700 is extorted through phishing online in one minute. So let's take a look at this. Play a little trick here on Ben's. Ben Sullivan, 86. Showing you your age there, Ben. <laughs> Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Bringing it back to the overarching theme, have you been hacked? All right. So check this out. Hi, everyone. So I had a lot of questions about the CyberFit Nation program, particularly when we launched the episode through dark mode and on LinkedIn. And so I actually wanted to run everyone through an abridged version as to what we presented in the 30 minute quickfire lunchtime series. Really proud to help announce the launch of CyberFit Nation 2.0, led by our wonderful head of marketing, Lisa Sim, which fundamentally is a national cybersecurity awareness and training program that helps support four key stakeholder groups. So the cybersecurity masterclass, as you can see there on the left, is really targeted at the board level, and it will involve a series of security maturity uplift strategy programs with some of our zero trust advisory members and chief security officers. The second stream is targeted, the one that Sean and I ran together, which is for employees, everyday users, people who are not security practitioners, around how to better communicate digital safety and good hygiene methods in the online world. So I'll talk about some of the content in a moment and stay tuned for what's to come on some of the next subsequent sessions. The security fundamentals, we're launching this with an ecosystem of partners, some very large tier one partnerships in the market at the moment as to how we can help as bigger organizations to communicate to business owners and operators cybersecurity risk, digital risk, how to better implement uplift strategies and what the fundamentals are of security. And then lastly, and near and dear to all of our hearts is helping to educate children on some very practical skills required to protect themselves on the online world and the rise of social media and internet accessibility for kids, children that might not be prone to safeguarding themselves. I think this will be a really topical one and one that we implore everyone to get a part of, especially mums and dads in the community. Please let us know if you'd like to be involved in this. And in fact, in any of these, you can go to go.paloeltonetworks.com slash cyberfit to check all of these out. We've got a few links as well. And you can reach out to me personally if you want to get involved in any other additional measure. Cool. So meta framing, I love zooming out to the 50,000 foot view of what's happening in the world as it relates to technology. And if we zero in on cybersecurity, I really love taking some of the stats and, and the data and quantifying what's actually happening online in one minute this year. So you can see some of the staggering statistics, 2 million Snapchat sent, I'm sure that grows every day, nearly 42 million texts on WhatsApp, countless, countless hours through the streaming services and on the social platforms. But what I wanted to draw a lot of attention to is actually what we see in as cyber professionals as still being the number one threat vector. And for those of us in the community, we'd be very familiar with the fact that phishing and business email compromise is still there at the top of the table. So take a look at the source from the World Economic Forum. I drew this just recently. A staggering $17,700 is extorted through phishing online in one minute. You can stat check me, check these out. Pretty staggering and no wonder why with 150 million plus emails being sent in one minute. So very, very interesting stats. I think it's very pertinent at the moment what's happening in the world. And near and dear to my heart is the exponential effect of how technology just keeps accelerating. And I just think, wow, imagine these statistics next year or let alone in the next 10 years. Cool. So. Cybersecurity Awareness Month. So the launch of the Digital Recharger series as part of CyberFit Nation coincided with Cybersecurity Awareness Month. So Australian Cybersecurity Center released a campaign around, have I been hacked? Have you been hacked? And communicating the message that there's so many different vectors and different mechanisms that bad actors can take, unfortunately, to target vulnerable people, everyday people, everywhere from the phishing and the business email compromise I spoke about before, to ransomware attacks on organizations, malware threats, identity theft, huge one with all the headlines in Australia at the moment. And of course, with website scams and everything in between. So we've got to figure out a way to really 
create a so create a social culture where we can actually report and champion cybersecurity issues at an individual level, but also work to the governing measures as to how we can better bring this big issue to the forefront of every director's and organization organization's awareness. And now I wanted to actually show you something pretty cool here. So I'll just switch over my screen share. All right. So check this out. Awesome. So let's take a look at this. Have I been hacked? DuckDuckGo. Very, very topical thing at the moment with all of the breaches. You can click the link through the QR code as just demonstrated to check this yourself if you haven't come across this before. I'm going to play a little trick here on Ben. So let's see. Ben Sullivan, 86. Showing you your age there, Ben. <laughs> see if we get a comment about that. Has Ben Sullivan been pwned? Look, no one is bulletproof, not even Ben Sullivan. So last FM, Ben and Zigna. Ben was obviously a big words with friends player. The developer suffered a big data breach back in 2019 of which Ben was very likely to be exposed and compromised there, unfortunately. So Ben, I know that you have some very, very tight hygiene measures, and I'm very sure that you of all people would be very safe and reset in the online world. Now, secondly, I wanted to also show you some actionable steps people can take. I'm sort of demoing here uh, in the Prezzo. We'll go on to the next thing that I, this is the key thing I wanted to show everybody, which is Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Bringing it back to the overarching theme, have you been hacked? Now you can check, have I been pwned as just demonstrated to so check for everyday emails, do this with your family, check out what the advice is, would recommend a password manager, whether you do that through some of the native tools, if you're a Mac user or some of the key providers at the moment, LastPass is a good one. The monthly, the monthly overarching theme then links into weekly themes. And you can see here that the ACSC has, again, really cool tools that you can check similar to what we just showed looking at advice around how secure or otherwise your email is how to check for this how to enhance your security how can you act now to stay secure mfa is a really big one if you don't already do that please we all implore you to do so a few quizzes you can go through just to assess your own readiness and then how to take action so this is just awesome like the stuff that they have on here and i think if anything take a look through that and see what resonates with you. There's also a few really good resources as well from the ACSC on the guides and where to start. So if you are yet to take a look at that, I would check out some of the tiering based on your own cybersecurity literacy. So first steps, next steps or advanced steps, depending on where you sit there and how you can safeguard yourself from the bad actors online at the moment. So just to wrap up, I'll go back into my share screen. A few key takeaways. Sean and I presented on the first digital recharger series. Do those updates as the OS operating system updates, email security, hygiene. Don't reuse passwords. Use the big phrases, leverage MFA and the like. Back everything up. Be careful not to overshare online. Talk about the younger generation and then think and apply the zero trust methodology to any sort of information you're getting queried about, especially in the online digital world. So big thanks. Trust this was really useful. And if you'd like to attend the next quick fire session, we will be launching the second one in our next quarter. So over the next three months, stay tuned on the socials, reach out to myself, Sean or Lisa. And if you're interested in any of those other pillars of the program, whether at the board level for startups, SMEs, or for cyber safe kids, Please get involved, check it all out on the link below and get in touch. Thanks everyone.